Welcome Naresha Technologies, this is Mahesh. So in my previous video, uh, I given the Kotlin introduction, next after that we discussed how to declare the variables in Kotlin, how many types of variables, like these things we discussed in the previous session. So in this video, the behavior of a class will represent by using a concept called functions and constructor, right? So in this video, I will explain how to declare the functions in Kotlin, okay? So in Kotlin, there are two types of functions are there. One is an inline function and a function. So what is inline function is nothing but if the function is having only one statement, you can write the inline function you can create. Let us take for example, we know that by default execution is going to begin with the main function. You want to create one more function I want to create. The function in Kotlin will create by using a keyword call. The fun keyword will create a function will create by using the fun keyword. Specify what is a function name. I am creating one function name called sum is a function name I specified. What is the function name? Sum is a function name we specified. This function is going to take two integer type of vari variables it is going to take as input and it has to perform the sum. It has to return a value, it has to return. We create a function name called sum is a function name we specified and which is taking two variables. I specified a two variables. One type of variable is A of type integer type, into type. And one more type of variable I specified b colon I specified int type I specified. Common boss, you, you are not specified here what type of variables these are, whether it is a mutable or immutable type. So for method parameters, you do not require to specify what type of variable it is, whether it is a mutable or immutable type. By default, this, this will be considered as an immutable type. Okay, you cannot modify these values, you cannot modify. So I create a function I created, sum is a function name which is taking the two parameters as input. And here we return directly z equals to return or you can write a plus b you can write. We are creating a function we are creating what is the function name? Sum is the function name we specified and we are getting two values we are getting a, a and b. So we will call this function we will call. I am calling this print, I am calling the print element method I am calling or we will take two numbers we will take from the user, we will call this sum method we will call. So I specified val, it is a very immutable type, I specified var num1 is equals to call the read line method but by default it is going to give the string type of string type of data, convert into the integer type by calling the toint method. But read int is declared with the null, initially null, that is we are telling that it is not a null type of variable we are declaring, okay. I am declaring one more variable I am declaring, number 2. So we declare the two integer type of variables we declared, number 1 and number 2, two integer type of variables we declared. I want to call this method, I want to call that result I want to print, call the println method, you can call the sum method and I am sending this two number type of values I am sending as an input for this, println, I am calling the sum method I am calling, I am sending the two parameters I am sending as an input for this sum method. You can see here, you have, not written, you have not specified return type, you have not specified, right? And we have not provided the body for this function. These kind of functions is called as inline functions we call, okay? And by default, uh, if, if, if you are having only one statement inside the function, then you can use this inline functions you can use. So let us see here, let us run the application, see the output. Let us run the application and see the output. It is waiting for your input. I have specified 99 is the first number I entered. I so was expecting the second number. I specified 1. I specified. See here we got the 100 we got. Meaning we are calling the sum function we are calling. We are sending these two numbers we are sending. Internally the method will perform the sum operation on these two numbers. The value it is going to return. We have not specified return statement. We have not specified. Whatever the value you are, you, you, I mean whatever the task you are doing here, that particular value will be written. Let us say I am creating one more function I am creating, one more inline function, I specified fun function, I am creating a function name call display today info is a function name I specified, display today info is a function name. We are creating a function we are creating called display today info is a function name we specified. This In this function, 
either you can return a value you can return or directly you can print a message here itself you can print I specified today is July this is what I am printing a message I am printing right. So, display today info method directly I am printing the value I am printing here itself I am printing a value I am printing. So, if you call this function from the main function what I am doing is nothing but I am calling this display today info function I am calling from the main function I am calling display today info function I am calling. I can see here I can run this application let us see. So, inside the function if you are executing only one statement if you are executing then you can go for inline function you can use something like I specified 10, 10 get the sum of two numbers I will print and today is what July 21st right. So, now we create a function we created this call as the inline function directly if you write like this it is going to return the value will be written or you can print a value also you can print. If you want to create more than one statement if you are writing inside a function if it is one statement you can go for inline functions you can use. But if you are writing more than one function if you are writing then so you have to create a function you have to create with body fun what is the function name I specified same I am creating one more function called display today info is one more function I created like as for example I specified display month info is a function name I specified. I created one more function I created what is the function name display month info is a function name I specified. If you are executing more than one statement if you are executing then go for the syntax like this if you are executing more than one statement. If you are writing only one statement if you are writing it is recommend to go for use the inline functions like for example I am writing println I specified month index is I am returning 7 like this if you want to execute more than one statement if you want to execute inside the function if it is more than one statement then you have to you have to declare the function like this you have to declare if it is only one statement inside the function go for inline functions can call this function you can call like display month info is a function name we specified display month info is a function name and I can see here it is going to call that particular function will be called display month info, but you have not specified the return type right. In case of quickly I will give two numbers you got month, month information method is also called. So, I cannot explain what is variable what is function all these things here. I am assuming that you already have some idea and all these things just we are understanding how to declare a method in Kotlin right. So, in this way we are going to create a function you are going to create in the Kotlin by using the fun keyword you can specify function name if it is taking any input parameters you do not require to specify it is a mutable or immutable directly you can you can specify the variable name you can specify of type what type of data it is like this you can specify the variable type directly. But you have not specified the return type right return type you have not specified anything for this function if you do not specify the return type if you do not specify by default will be considered as a void type. But do you have the void type in Kotlin? No we do not have a void type we do not have in Kotlin. If you want to apply any return type if you want to apply for the function use this colon specify what is the return type of this function. If it is a void type you can make it as a unit basically it is not required if, if the method is returning a void type if the method is returning then you do not require to write anything if you do not if you if you do not write any return type it will be considered as a void type. Now, you want to explicitly have to specify it is a void type the function is you can write colon you can write unit you can write like this it means that the function return type is what empty void. So, in this way we are going to create a function we are going to create like for example, I am creating one more function I am creating I am creating one more function I am creating just for sample day info is one function I am creating I am creating a day info is a function name I am creating it has to return the today information it has to return day info is a function name we created and we specified the function name as a return type as a string we specified day info is a function we created what is the return type of this function string is a return type of this function we specified. Now, what what this function has to return this function has to return what what type of value string type of value the function has to return. So, what I am doing is nothing but you can write return I specified 21st 07. 2018 okay this is function with return type right this is function without return type without return type this is optional unit is optional keyword 
If you want, you can keep otherwise you do not require to write this, it is optional. If you want to make it explicitly, no, it is a return type, uh, return type is void type, make it as a unit. So, now we create a function we created called day info is a function name, return type of this function is what? String, internally the function is returning one, string type of value the function is returning. If you want, you can print this value, you can print. So, simply like how we will call the other methods call the day info method, it is going to call this day info function will be called. Okay? And we know that instead of writing these many statements, if your function is having only one statement, what you can do? You can write z equals to, you can write like this, you can write. So, which will optimize, the size of the program will be optimized. Okay? So, this is how to create a functions in Kotlin. If you are having only one statement, then go for the inline functions. If it is having more than one statement, if you want to execute inline inside the function, so use, the, declare the function like this. If it is a function return type is void, then do not write the unit statement. Okay? Except the void, if any return statement is there, use a colon symbol, you can specify the return type, you can specify. So, other thing is nothing but, the Kotlin is Java interoperable. Java interoperable in the sense, you can call the Kotlin code, you can call from Java, Java code also you can call from Kotlin. Let us say for example, just for testing purpose, I am creating one function I am creating in Java. So, just for demonstration, what we will do is nothing but, we will create a function we will create in Java, we will create one function and we will call that function, we will call from Kotlin. Let us say in the SRC, I am creating one Java class I am creating here. I specified the class name call, my test is a class name I specified. Created on Java class, it is not a Kotlin, it is a Java class it is, my test. Inside this Java class, I am creating one function I am creating, public, string is the return type, assume and display today info is a function name I created, display today info or only today info is a function name I specify, today info. We create a function we created in a Java class, inside the Java class we create a function called today info, return I specified. See here, where we created this function? In Java class we created the function I created. I told you Kotlin is Java interoperable. You can call the Java code, you can call in Kotlin, Kotlin code also you can call into Java. Let us see here, uh, inside this test class, test class, what we are doing is, so I am calling println, I want to print that message, I want to print, println I am calling, my test dot, I am calling today info method. See from the Kotlin, we are calling the Java method we are calling. This is object creation, we are creating the object, we are creating for my test class, we are creating the object, that my test class today info method we are calling. So, if you make it static, you do not require to create objects, today info method, if you make it as a static, directly you can access. But in Kotlin, we will create the object, we will create like this, the my test class object we are creating, we are calling the today info method, because it is instance method. We require this object is required to call the instance method. I can see here, run this test KT. We got today is July 21st record. So, we are able to call the Java function, we are able to call from Kotlin. The same vice versa also you can do, Kotlin code also you can call from Java. The another great advantage you will get if you use the Kotlin is nothing but, the syntax of Kotlin and Swift, Swift is another language which we use to build the iOS application. The syntax of the Kotlin and Swift 90 percent both are same. The 90 percent, the Swift language syntax and Kotlin language syntax both are same, 90 percent. If you want, you can see here, let us take for example, uh, I am creating one function in Kotlin. Let us see the same function how we will do in the Swift also. I am creating a function by using the fun keyword. What is the function name? Display today info, display today info is a function name I specified. This function has to return some string type of value, so I specified string I specified. Display today info is a function name I specified, what is the return type of this function? String is a return type you specified. I can write return, printing some message like today is, this is function declaration in Kotlin. The same thing if you want to declare into some, some other variable, like you can write var msg is equals to, you can write like this also, you can write. You can hold into some variable like msc and return, you can return the msc variable, you can return. 
this is the function declaration in Kotlin, right. Display today info is a function name we created, which is a return type is string type. We declared a string type of variable we declared and we are returning that string type of variable we are returning. I copied the same as it is I copied. This is the function declaration in Kotlin, okay. One sample function we created in the Kotlin. What is the benefit you will get if you use a Kotlin language is nothing but 90 percent of the syntax of Kotlin and the Swift programming language are what? same. I will do one thing, I will copy this Kotlin function I copied. Now, the same thing we will do in the Swift. I open the Xcode I am opening now, open the Xcode. I am choosing an option called playground, start, get started with the playground. We will write the same Kotlin code, just I copied the Kotlin function I copied and we will try to copy in the Swift code, we will try to copy. So, it is a Kotlin syntax it is. Now, whatever you can see this is Xcode playground and we are going to write the code in the Swift. Whatever the function I copy created in the Kotlin, I am copying the same function I am copying, I am placing the function inside the Xcode, I am placing the function. A few minor changes you had to do, I told that is why I told 90 percent syntax is same. What is the few changes is nothing but in Swift we are going to create a function by using a few NC keyword. In Kotlin we are going to create a function by using the fun keyword. In Swift we are going to create a function we are going to create by using the few NC keyword we will create a function we will create function. And the return type of this function we specified string. So, after function declaration in Kotlin we had to use this lambda symbol we had to specify that is it. This thing will come like this. That is why I told you 90 percent syntax is same, right. We get a function we created, here in Kotlin we use fun keyword, in Swift we are going to use a function keyword. To display today info is a function name, we will represent the return type by using the colon, in Kotlin we will we'll specify the return type by using this arrow symbol or lambda expression. Here also we declared the variable by using the var keyword, we can declare the variable we can de declare by using the var keyword, return statement same as it is. Here also if you want to call a function, if you want to call, directly you can call display, create a function you created, right. So, simply you can call this function, you can call directly, you can call this function. Just I am just showing here the difference, just I am showing the difference I am showing here. So, now you got here you can see, just understand the syntax, you can see that both 90 percent both are what same, slightly just the few keywords are different. Instead of colon, use lambda, instead of fun, key, fun keyword, function keyword. This is another benefit if you get, if you use a Kotlin language, uh, 90 percent of the Swift language syntax is also what? The same, okay. So, this is about the functions creation in Kotlin, this is all about the functions in Kotlin. The next video we will discuss about how to represent the constructor in a class, we will discuss in the next video. Thank you.